Hey there, this is John from Stormy Studio and this is a very quick video um, to show you how I've integrated Facebook with Game Salad. I'm going to quickly run through it and hopefully it'll all just work. But, um, fingers crossed. So I have, hopefully you've done John Mulkey's uh, tutorial on setting up your own MAMP local server. Quickly start that. Um, right, open start page, which loads up your local server, go PHP my admin, let's create a new database. So databases, create database, let's call it FB demo. Create. Click on FB demo, let's create a table. Let's just call it Facebook. Um, number of columns two. We're looking for someone's name and their Facebook ID. So name, that's going to be a string, so that's text. Facebook ID, we can leave that as int for integer. Save that. So there we go. That's our database and that's our table. Um, okay. Right now, I'm going to go into MAMP into bin, into MAMP again, and this is where we need to put our files. So I'm going to upload these files in a second separately for you. But essentially we want the callback script, Facebook, oh you don't need the Facebook demo, that's your game salad file. Callback script, login script, send to, to GS script, and there's a Facebook picture there, which is your login button. Drop those in. So now we need to keep track of our local server address. So go back into our MAMP. Don't need that bit of data there. Ooh. So callback.php, that's the address to one of our scripts. Okay, let's head over to Facebook. So Facebook.com developer. Apps, create a new app, call it what you like. I'm going to call it demo. Um, you don't need to put a namespace, I don't think. And just choose anything from the drop down list. Let's say it's a business app, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Let me just see if I can get the capture code right the first time. So when I did this before, it took a while to generate the app and it never actually told me it generated. So I kept doing it over and over again and then gave up. And then when I checked the drop-down up here, I'd made about eight apps. So that was really annoying because it took a while to remove them. There we go. So it's finished spinning, but it doesn't actually say app created anywhere. But ignore that. Um, refresh the page. Drop down the apps. There you go. Demo. So there we go, there's our app ID. There we go, app ID. The app secret, if you read online, it also tell you it's incredibly secret. Don't make it publicly available anywhere. Since, since this is just a tutorial, it doesn't matter. So we've got those there. And whilst we're here, we can put in our URLs for our app. So go settings, just choosing a platform in here. Choose website, because it's a sort of server side website that we're going to be creating. Our address in here. No, don't need W's. I think we just need that. Localhost, localhost. There we go. So it's, it, obviously it needs to have the website addresses here for the app domain to be OK. Um, hopefully that's all correct. Go advanced. And then down here, this is where we put the exact, not there, where is it? Here, yeah. the valid OAuth redirect URL, which is a callback script. <clears throat> OK. 
So there we go, that's there, now there. Right, so that's all okay. And that's all we need to do in there. So close that, close that, close that. Right, let's look at the scripts. First one, logging in with Facebook. Um, I'm using Dreamweaver to edit this PHP script. I'm sure there's better bits of software out there designed for coding, but I've got it on my system and it works. So here we are, here's the PHP script for the logging in. Um, this bit at the top, that's just there to stop the code ever being cached um, in your browser, which Facebook won't like because it won't generate a new state every time you run it. So it'll become a security issue. Okay, here, first thing we need to put in is our app ID. So let's quickly grab, grab that. Boom. Um, here you put your address for your callback file. Da 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 da. That's already there. Um, and this is all okay. So that's going to the Facebook's um, login dialog website. It's looking at your app ID, and it's it can see your PHP address for the callback file. And that gets put in there, plus this state number, which is generated up here, which is a unique number. Um, and then I've got the text here for Stormy's Game Salad Facebook login, which you can change, and you could make your login page look very fancy using normal web design tools. Okay, so save that. Next on the list, the callback script. Okay, this is the big one. Again, it's got this header text at the top to stop the page being cached, and it needs an app ID. There it is. And it wants the app secret. Boom, there's, there's that. Um, it wants the same redirect URL, callback.php, which is this actual file, so it's wherever you put this file, that's the same address, and it's the same address that you put in the loading um, login page. Scroll down, and this is the address for the login script that we just looked at. And don't need to touch any of this. This is where your token saved, so the token that you're requesting comes back, and it gets saved in this bit of script. Um, more approval stuff, blah 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 blah. Um, da, 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 da. You can ignore all this. Um, if you want to debug what you're actually outputting, you can um, get rid of that so it makes this bit of code run. Um, and then it will put out what you're actually receiving from Facebook so you can see all the information and decide what information you actually want to keep. Um, and then you can do the next bit which will run a loop and build up the file so in this case I've asked for the ID and name of the incoming data and uh, so that's being done there just check what I'm actually doing uh, da, 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 da. this is where we connect to the database initially I had this at the top of the script but it caused a few problems so I've moved it down here so this is using John Mulcahy's um, PHP script to connect to the database. So yeah, the database was called, sorry, my memory has disappeared, FB demo. FB demo. Right, okay, so that's, we've inserted FB demo there, which is the database, and then over here, where it says incoming friends, that's my old uh, table I had. And our new table is called Facebook. So let's quickly change that to Facebook. So it's looking at that database, then it's finding that table, and it's going to write to name and Facebook ID, which are the two columns. And it's going to put the name attribute and the ID, which I've collected up here. Da, 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 da. So that's going to run in a loop. It's going to go through all the data, click the name and ID, put it into the database, and then this adds one to the loop and it'll go around again until that equals the number of rows in the table. So hopefully that was all correct. Fingers crossed. Okay. Uh, and then there's the center GS script, which I was going to leave till last, but we'll quickly have a quick run through it. So it's um, connecting to the server and it's, going, it's been asked to get a file. So again, we need to put in the name of our 
our database, which is called demo, fb demo. Sorry, it's late, but my memory is sort of working. Um, <clears throat> come down here. That's the name, in, it says incoming friends, which is the name of my old table. But the new one is called Facebook. Okay. Da 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 da. So we'll go through and it's collecting this, this, and this. I haven't actually got a place together ID. That was the third column I put in my first attempt at this. Um, so again, we don't need. Don't need that. Um, so that's collecting these and it's putting it into a string that's laid out like that. And it's going to loop around and keep making rows that have the name, the, um, the table row number, the friend's name, and the friend's ID. Um, da 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 da. Um, and then this bit is a bit tricky. Um, if you follow John Mulcahy's uh, Tutorial, you'll have exported a file from Game Salad. You would have sent your table from Game Salad. Um, if you write that to a text file, um, you'll see, if it's a completely empty table, you send it out from Game Salad, you'll get a file that looks very similar to this. So you can go through and make this look the same. <clears throat> you'll need to change what comes on after the word value to make it look like that. Um, and then at the bottom of the, the code that you get from Game Salad, um, the JSON file, uh, you will have the footer. So you can paste that in here and make sure it looks the same. I had to delete a few words that came before this which didn't match here or up here. And so without those, it all worked very well. Um, it's a little script here which you can turn off if you want by doing two of those. Oh, the TV's just come on. One sec. Let's pause that. Ghosts. There's ghosts in the house. Um, let's come on again. <clears throat> Definitely ghosts in the house. So yeah, this is exporting um, everything that you're about to send to Game Salad and putting it in a text file so you can review it. And then this bit of code here is what's being put out, and that's what Game Salad will be looking for when you set, when you press a get file and direct it to the address of this file. Um, Chances are this isn't going to work, so I've probably missed something, but let's give it a whirl. Uh, head over to here, got a Facebook demo file. So inside of this, we have a login and a get info button. And I've got attributes which have the addresses for both of those. So we have the address for our login script, which is that so it's map da, 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 da. and then the URL is that send to GS file. This is the uh, get excuse me it's gonna get script. Um, so those have been updated. I think I just press play and pray to the binary gods that it's all going to be okay. Okay, so Facebook login. It's loaded the right page. It's gone to the right address. Press login. It's gone to the uh, Facebook page asking for access to Facebook. And press OK. And it hasn't come up with an error, so that looks good. Um, and then back in Game Salad, where it should have. Oh no, I've turned it off. There's, you can add a code in the uh, Git PHP file that will send you out to a web domain of your choosing. Um, so let's press get Facebook info and bing, it's actually worked. My word. I'll just press that so it refreshes again. All my friends. Lovely. So that's a very long run through on how you do it. Messy, stuttering, babbling along, but hopefully someone will learn something from that. Cheers.